Lucknow, India, AP, millions of Indians celebrated Diwali on Sunday with a Guinness World Record number of bright earthen oil lamps as concerns about air pollution soared in the South Asian country. Across the country, dazzling multi-colored lights decked homes and streets as devotees celebrated the annual Hindu festival of light symbolizing the victory of light over darkness. But the spectacular and much-awaited massive lighting of the oil lamps took place, as usual, at Saryu River, in Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh state, the birthplace of their most revered deity, the god Ram. Read more. What is Diwali, and how is it celebrated in India and the diaspora? At dusk on Saturday, devotees lit over 2.22 million lamps and kept them burning for 45 minutes as Hindu religious hymns filled the air at the banks of the river, setting a new world record. Last year, over 1.5 million earthen lamps were lit. After counting the lamps, Guinness Book of World Records representatives presented a record certificate to the state's top elected official Yogi Adityanath. Over 24,000 volunteers, mostly college students, helped prepare for the new record, said Pratiba Goyal, Vice-Chancellor of Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia Avad University, in Ayodhya. People light earthen lamps on the banks of Saryu River on the eve of Diwali festival, in Ayodhya, India, November 11, 2023. Hindus across the world celebrate Diwali, the festival of light which marks the return of Lord Rama from exile to his kingdom and the triumph of light over darkness. Photo by Ritesh Shukla, Getty Images Diwali, a national holiday across India, is celebrated by socializing and exchanging gifts with family and friends. Many light earthen oil lamps or candles, and fireworks are set off as part of the celebrations. In the evening, a special prayer is dedicated to the Hindu goddess Lakshmi, who is believed to bring luck and prosperity. Over the weekend, authorities ran extra trains to accommodate the huge numbers trying to reach their hometowns to join family celebrations. The festival came as worries about air quality in India rose. A hazardous 400 to 500 level was recorded on the air quality index last week, more than 10 times the global safety threshold, which can cause acute and chronic bronchitis and asthma attacks. But on Saturday, unexpected rain and a strong wind improved the levels to 220, according to the government-run Central Pollution Control Board. Air pollution level is expected to soar again after the celebrations end Sunday night because of the fireworks used. Last week, officials in New Delhi shut down primary schools and banned polluting vehicles and construction work in an attempt to reduce the worst haze and smog of the season, which has posed respiratory problems for people and enveloped monuments and high-rise buildings in and around India's capital. Authorities deployed water sprinklers and anti-smog guns to control the haze and many people used masks to escape the air pollution.